you know, sort of a communist installation. So what's happening right here, folks, is a communist upload into our society. Communism and the people who benefit from that top-down control where the government controls absolutely everything, they always target wealthy society. So I'm going to put up another video by an ex-KGB agent named Yuri Bezmenov. Now he defected, I believe, in the 1970s. He was a KGB agent from the USSR. He, I believe he actually defected to Canada and he ended up working, I think, at a Ford car plant in Sarnia, Canada um, until he retired. I, I can't believe, I don't think he's alive anymore. He's quite, he's middle age when he gives the video that I'm talking about. But Yuri Bezmenov, an old KGB agent that defected to Canada, will clearly spell out that communism and the people that benefit from it who are not really communists they're from basically ruled the same ruling families i allude to in almost every podcast the communism is just a way to run humans it's a human farming technique and communism is a very harsh very tyrannical boot to the back of the neck every single day sort of control mechanism for running humans to for you know for operating the human farm and yuri bezmanov is is said that the communists which again are ruling ancient ruling families it's very easy for them to walk into wealthy uh, societies and take them over because the wealthy people are uh, decadent and they don't want to get their hands dirty. They don't want to kill anybody. They don't even want to defend their freedoms. They don't even want to get their car dirty. They don't want their flowers messed up on the lawn. And Yuri Bezmenov will explain how this communism takeover usually involves allowing a society to fatten itself on decadence as the communists sort of plot around the decadent folks taking over their government, their municipal government, taking over their provincial government or their state government, and eventually taking over the full government. And people, the wealthy folks don't notice because they're drinking champagne. And in, you know, in North America, they're getting their lips plumped or they're getting their breast augment, augmentations or they're down at the gym or they're watching porn. And he, Yuri Bezmenov, will explain in many of his interviews that from the porn to the marijuana, from the alcohol to the cocaine, to the crack, to the heroin, to the opiates, the communists take care of all of it. It's all there by their doing to fatten up and sedate and tranquilize the wealthy nations so the communists can actually tiptoe around and set up their comrades throughout the government. And you can see they got a lot of comrades in a lot of places all at one time because we're getting the old communist red flag shoved up our asses right now by people like Doug Ford here in Ontario, people like Dan Andrews down in Australia, I think it's Newsom in California, Cuomo's, a, I mean, he's a commie uh, through and through, and they made sure to install the their comrades, their communist brothers and sisters throughout our, our governmental system, and these folks are promised a king's ransom for enslaving all of us. So Doug Ford today, there was an insider let out an email just for anybody in Ontario. But of course, this is going to go Canada wide. It'll, it'll infiltrate into the United States as well, because, of course, it's a one world. I mean, it's a one world government sort of already because they're attacking us. It doesn't matter if we're in Costa Rica or Canada or we're in Australia or America. We're all getting attacked in the same way. We're all having our freedoms taken away. And basically, Doug Ford, the internal email that we got from an insider was that they're planning to shut down all or part of Ontario in the second wave, which is completely fabricated. Uh, again, COVID. 
does not exist. It is not being isolated. It's basically the common cold or the common flu. And again, the, the common cold or the common flu or any disease is caused by toxins. It's not caused by viruses.